channel after a very very long time I feel like I haven't uploaded you guys um, I mean I, I feel like I should apologize to you guys but then as well you guys should already know you guys have your own lives and it's like anyways <laughs> So sorry but not sorry <laughs> anyways I'm going to be doing a reading a collective um, tarot reading okay I'm gonna do three different readings you're gonna choose your reading by choosing a number one two three okay so kind of just think about before I even start, just kind of like relax and then whatever number comes to you that you're feeling, start envisioning, right? That's what I want you to do. Just close your eyes, envision, and um, what number attracts you? One, two, or three. Whichever number attracts you, go ahead and take a look at the description. I will go ahead and leave um, the timestamps for each reading, okay? So I'm only going to do three readings and it's going to be a collective reading. It's not a personal reading to you. It's not catered to you exactly because it's a collective reading. So if you resonate with certain stuff, go ahead and I mean it resonates with you, right? And if it doesn't, then it doesn't. So all right, I'm going to start off with number one. Okay. Actually, number three. Sorry, my intuition's telling me three. I'm going to go backwards. I'm going to go three, two, one. Countdown, apparently. Okay. All right. So, for some reason, I felt drawn to um, pull cards from this Oracle deck. Okay, you guys? And so, yeah. <laughs> All right. The first one is healing family issues. Okay. It says your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Ooh, that's a deep one. And then pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. And then I'm gonna take one more card. This card, religious factors. It says your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Okay. So for you guys, um, for people that chose the number three, okay, because um, with healing and family issues, like straight up what I'm getting is like the message for you guys, I'm going to close my eyes because that's how I channel, okay. Um, for some reason, okay, so, ooh, I, I haven't done my readings in a long time and I'm channeling the hardcore, you guys, and I'm loving it, but okay, so. All right, message for you guys. Some of you guys could be fighting with people within your family or people that you consider your family, right? Sometimes people that aren't your family, you still consider them family, right? I'm getting like Fast and the Furious vibes. <laughs> Who's seen the memes though? Like those memes are, are, are fucking funny as fuck. Anyways, I guess I attracted you guys because <laughs> I'm a Gemini. But anyways, so... Um, yeah, so you guys are having family issues. You could be fighting with your dad. I'm getting some of you guys could be fighting with your dads, your mom, your siblings. Like, you know, it's kind of a time right now where the energy is like people are kind of colliding, right? Or collisioning. <laughs> you know, just personalities aren't like smooth, okay? Um, I'm feeling like definitely a big message for you guys that i'm getting is like kill your freaking ego okay sometimes we like have a really big ego and we're like no i'm not gonna talk to them but kind of like i mean we're all entitled to feel how we want to feel right of course like there's not a correct way to process something like once something happens i feel like sometimes we could like we can be impulsive and we can say some fucking dark ass shit, you know, because maybe sometimes we've been bottling up shit. Maybe you've been bottling, bottling up shit with your family, you know what I'm saying? Like, it could be a little intense, so maybe all that shit's coming out. So I feel like maybe you guys, um, obviously maybe that's why you guys ain't talking, because maybe somebody slipped. 
someone made somebody feel you know very upset maybe they're not happy with your lifestyle how you're living I mean your parents I mean kind of take a look at take a look at it like this right um, I feel like the older we grow sometimes right most of the time we grow and we have a lot of wisdom but there's some people that don't that grow and don't have wisdom right we're not talking about those people but maybe don't be one of those people okay maybe that's the message you know like don't be immature and like try to be the bigger person and grow from this and handle it in a way where you're more mature right i feel like you are maturing you, that's do you need a mature i don't know could be vice versa i mean could be that this person needs to be that way i don't know like i said it's a collective reading um it says pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you so maybe like as well you know like maybe right now i feel like there could be like obviously there's a distance because you and whoever are fighting right um, maybe they've really hurt your feelings i'm feeling like yeah they, it, it could be it could have been like really toxic though like some really dark shit like came through someone said some shit and um hurt somebody's feelings i feel like some people are looking for i mean are looking into prayer maybe it's like good to kind of detach yourself and sometimes it is good to detach yourself and definitely look at things through a different perspective because sometimes we're, when we're so heated it's like that's all we're seeing that's all that's going through your head right it's just in your head that's all and and, and that does happen right uh, you could definitely be like you know praying you know I feel like this is a purging moment so definitely purge everything that you need to get out so that you're like starting a clean slate you know um, and it feels better that way when you unload everything that you feel um, I'm gonna get my tarot deck okay cuz that was an Oracle message so let me go ahead and start shuffling okay yeah five of pentacles see some of you guys i feel like that's how i felt in the beginning right i was feeling like you guys need to be the bigger person i'm feeling like a good amount of you guys it's like um and then you have the magician card i'm gonna pull a couple more cards out um just to confirm the message king of pentacles exactly everything that i was saying is like out here then this one turned three of wands yes so basically i mean it's just confirming what i just said you guys all right all right with the five of pentacles it's like someone needs to make a move right it's like that door like you could open it like the key is right there but just like someone needs to speak up and be like hey I know maybe it's time to talk now okay maybe it's been about five days since this happened five months since you've not been talking to whoever you've been having issues with um, between two to five months two to five days I don't know that you know um, that's up to you that's on what you resonate with and with the magician it's like you're definitely wanting to create a better environment for yourself like what i'm feeling is like you are taking a look at things and you're just needing to know that like it needs to change things need to change change and then you have the king of pentacles okay so like the king is one of the top tiers right he's like very mature he uh the king of pentacles represents uh stability financially right maybe you've just been focusing on your work stacking your coin i really do feel like it could be like a dad i'm getting strong like dad vibes like whoever you're i feel like you're maybe mad at your dad or someone you consider a father figure father mother figure um with the three of wands i feel like there's definitely a step you're going to be taking so you're going to be talking to this person and obviously you know like when there's a relationship between our parents we always want to try 
it's really hard you know to like give you guys advice because there's so many just scenarios there's so many uh different um lives right everyone has a different life uh different parents were born into you know different financial stability homes well what the fuck did i just say just means like different levels of like maybe your fa some people like were born in a good home with like money right there was always money there was always everything but there maybe wasn't there they they your parents didn't make time for you they considered other things more important than they did to you or some of you guys it's like your parents you know maybe they weren't really financially stable maybe that's why you've become financially stable you know maybe it was hard it's it's uh, maybe trauma everyone has different traumas there you go that's the message you know different traumas but i feel like for you people who are resonating with this i'm just feeling like a new leaf needs to definitely like take place uh, for sure, I would say, you know, take your time. That's the more logical, you know, thing to do is take your time, process this, you know, think of different, you know, ways to approach this um, because it's, I feel like it's really painful for you and it's just like maybe you haven't gone this long without talking to your parents or whoever this person is and it's like, it's definitely time for new adventure I'm saying new adventure right like a new way of life breaking um, breaking cycles right we got to break our cycles and be a better person and and be happy and you know what some people are like I'm just getting a lot of energy of like some people are just like you need to surrender I feel like that's the message for you I need I feel like you need to surrender um that's the message surrender and i feel like this experience is definitely gonna make you look at life different but in a good way i feel like good things are gonna come though out of this i feel like that's what always happens right i feel like sometimes we have these hardcore situations where like you fight with someone you love and then it just makes you look at things different and it just changes you and hopefully for the better and not i hope that you're not like um bitter because of it some people definitely like to become um bitter so forgive but don't forget forgive but don't forget that is your reading people that chose the number three and you know no one's perfect and every day is a new start to have to having a new beginning and to creating the life that you want to create yeah sorry you guys <laughs> i'm a little extra go ahead like and subscribe to my channel you guys and i'm gonna try to go ahead and put out readings for you guys i, I really do miss like doing my readings and like just vibing with you guys even if it was like a couple people that vibed with me like it's okay numbers don't count it's just like a vibe is a vibe right and if you vibe with me vibe with me all right have a great weekend you guys and i will see you in the next one okay so this is going to be for the people that chose the number two okay and i feel like for you guys i want to change for oracle decks okay i'm gonna choose to um start off with this oracle deck all right so dang i hope you guys don't get like super emotional i'm feeling like a little emotional man a little bit in the fields okay so wisdom yes I trimmed my nails <laughs> I'm all like did I trim my nails and I'm over here putting the card up to you guys <laughs> okay trust Ooh. who 
needs validation, you guys. And then you have creation. Okay. Wisdom, trust, and creation, you guys. And at the bottom of the deck, the d -d 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 deck, I didn't say, oh, I was going to say it. <laughs> dick <laughs> the deck <laughs> yes you guys i am wild like that <laughs> hunger and then you have focus damn i'm vibing with you guys okay and then you have faith focus and faith okay okay so i feel like a message for you guys okay for the people that chose the number the number two is um I feel like there is something that you want to create. I feel like you guys are at a point in your life right now where I feel like you've come out of a time where you're, you're, I feel like you're healed or you're at that point of like what I'm getting is you cut yourself, right? You get hurt. That's the beginning stage. Then you gotta obviously like cure it, you know, attend to it, make sure you don't get it infected. Healing, right? The healing process happens. And and so within the healing process, it's like getting healed and healed and healed and healed. And you're almost like it's almost close. It's kind of like when you cut yourself right and obviously like it's almost done healing. That's how I'm feeling for you guys. Okay, I'm feeling like you guys are at that last part where you guys are like like there's still a little bit of it's like where you it's like the scar it's i have to be like super detailed <laughs> with what i'm saying you guys um yeah it's like it's a little scar but you're still seeing it but it's healing you know so that's where i feel like you guys are at you guys are at the point where you guys have maybe like come a super long way and that's funny i don't know why it took me that long to say that <laughs> okay so I'm feeling like there's something you want to create. I'm feeling like who knows maybe you've healed from Love trauma, okay, maybe um, I feel like maybe some of you guys could have been in like in a, a very toxic traumatic uh, relationship in the past um, Something that definitely threw off your balance and something that wasn't in balance, right? Something that took your energy and I feel like you ended that and sometimes people like when you end a relationship you get super lost and i'm feeling like you were lost for a very long time it was very hard for you to like move on um and i'm feeling like there's something that is now i'm feeling like let me grab a different tarot deck real quick so because that was an oracle met uh oracle um deck dick <laughs> You guys are ready for dick? Who the fuck's ready for dick? Is that the message? <laughs> See? What did I say, you guys? What did I say? Like, yeah, it could have been, like, bad, you know? There could have been, like, a betrayal. Here's another card that came out. Yes! Wow! You've got the Nine of Pentacles, you guys. Okay. Then you have these seven of cups. Okay. And then you have um, the nine of swords. Or the ten of swords, my bad, you guys. Sorry, I got um, a little sidetracked by channeling, but it came out uh, reverse. So, yeah, see? Exactly what I'm saying, you guys. Um there could have been a betrayal right this is a betrayal that i was talking about it's crazy because it's like i'm channeling and then i just pull the cards and it's just like the message that i was saying to you guys you guys with the nine of pentacles okay the nine of pentacles you guys is an independent woman you could be a single woman maybe you have very like feminine features you could be a man right and still have feminine features like well, not well. I mean, you could have a baby face. That's maybe have a baby face. Maybe a little cutie or something. 
very free spirited right i feel like you've been taking in that good energy maybe you've been being like outside a lot I feeling like you guys could have been like been taking a lot of time for you guys you know maybe going outside camping hiking just being out in the sun maybe you've been into gardening some of you guys could be, be into gardening um that's weird that i'm feeling it that way but okay but literally you've been just like embodying that energy of like i'm trying to you know you've been work focusing on work um you know you could be out dating as well you've definitely have like a lot of options that are happening right now okay so or that could be coming into your life right you could i feel like you're winning a lot there's a lot that is out there you just have to focus and i'm feeling that's crazy how overall like the oracle cards and the tarot cards like linked up you know um but there's definitely a lot of options but i'm feeling like right now you're i feel like you're definitely focused on finding somebody it could be about love right i feel like that's what maybe you're manifesting is like i think it's time i feel like i've healed like i've come a long way from the betrayal that has happened in the past because i feel like it was intense you know um relationships they definitely could be like super intense you know they're they've got the highs they've got the lows but i feel like this one took your energy someone could have cheated on you um definitely a heart you could have caught someone in the act like um just being very disloyal being very non-genuine you know but i feel like you know with the ten of swords in reverse it's like you're out of that you're out of that and i feel like you could have kids as well okay i am getting that with the faith card i feel like you know maybe it could be a single parent and you're just maybe looking for a new like someone that's gonna help you grow i feel like yeah maybe there's someone you're interested that you want to have kids with or something i am getting some really weird messages okay i'm not gonna too, dive too deep into that but i feel like overall the message i don't know why i got that but um i'm feeling like overall like okay yeah you have the strength card i'm just gonna pull from the bottom of the deck you guys you have the magician card and then you have the two of pentacles okay it makes sense now so um yeah there's definitely someone that could be trying to tame you you could be trying to tame somebody there's someone there's some type of romantic interest that you have but i feel like you're kind of a little bit of unsure because I feel like you're scared, okay? Because you do have the magician um, in reverse, right? I'm feeling like, yeah, that could be some of your worries. I mean, it is, you know, like worrisome when you like someone because then it's just like you're developing emotions, you're, um, you know, like it, it, it was scary last time. And because last time it was scary, like, because of everything that happened you're like i don't want to i don't know if i'm willing to do that you know with the two of pentacles you don't know if you're ready to do that but you do have um have the six of wands okay and then you have the eight of swords okay and then you have the page of cups and in reverse okay so it's i feel like you guys could be keeping yourself a little bit it's a lot of mental thinking that you're doing right now like i said right you guys are in your head the what ifs the buts the cans of course anything is possible but i feel like you need to not be scared i feel like this could be something that is very premature as well it's just like someone's catching your attention you could have a little bit of it like maybe you want to go out on a date with someone maybe like someone wants to go on a date with you um start off slow right like you know about the red flags all right i'm gonna coach you through this whoever you are <laughs> all right 
Um, don't overthink it, right? Not everybody is the same person. You are not the same person you were a year ago, right? So exactly, just like that. Just make sure you take your wisdom with you, right? Wisdom, right there, wisdom. And trust yourself, right? Trust your gut, your intuition. Um, and definitely, definitely create, you guys. You guys could be doing like a full moon ritual. I feel like you guys could, I mean, a full moon ritual would maybe help you. Who knows, maybe you're spiritual, right? Um, I practice full moon rituals, right? I'm into that type of stuff. And definitely focus your intention and have faith that everything's going to be okay. Damn. Take a chance. Okay? Take a chance. Take a chance. I'm going to pull maybe one more card for you guys. Whoa. <laughs> I'm going to take... Yeah. Okay. I'm going to take this one, you guys. Okay. Yep, you've got the um, the Seven of Pentacles, you guys. With the Seven of Pentacles, okay, um, it did come out upside down, okay? So with that, it's like, for sure, you guys, um, don't be scared. Okay? Don't self-sabotage. Don't self-sabotage because of the experiences that you have had in the past. Okay? Um, everyone is different. And if you see red flags in a person or they're giving you a reason to feel not secure, maybe you have to have security. Security is very important to you. And I understand why that could happen, right? If you've had... Um, people in the past, you know, belittle you, hurt you, etc. Every trauma, every scenario is different. Um, but I feel like everything starts with you. You have to be happy by yourself. Your self esteem has to be popping. Like, you have to be very secure with yourself. And I feel like when you are very secure with yourself, you focused on yourself and you know good things come you just have to have that positive mindset but if you're scared then i feel like you manifest that right i feel like whatever you think about you end up manifesting so be careful with what you're thinking about okay so anyways that, that was your guys's reading i've said a lot of things um I hope that it goes good you know take it slow be more logical relax like you're not in the moment where you've already like they've already messed up you won't know that if you don't give it a chance okay anyways that was your guys's reading for the people that chose reading number two go ahead like and subscribe to my channel you guys and i'm gonna try to upload a lot more i'm doing a little bit more better in my life and i'm feeling more good so um yeah i'm gonna try to get with you guys on the weekends and have yeah have an awesome weekend you guys and i love you guys and i will see you next time okay and this is going to be for the people that chose the number one all right number one i don't know why i got that but okay it says animal guardian trust your instincts Fire Guardian, ignite your passions. And then Father Sky, trust the unknown. Okay. Alright, you guys. So, with you guys. So, you have the Knight of Wands as well. 
So some of the message for you guys is I'm feeling like sorry you guys I have to pull my eyelashes out because they're getting on my nerves. Is that weird? <laughs> um maybe you guys are fidgeters. I don't know why I felt like fidgeting. Um maybe you're getting some anxiety. Mm, I'm feeling like there's something that is about to happen. Okay, what's about to happen? Okay. So you have the Three of Swords. And then you have the Knight of Cups. Um. a heartbreak that's happening right I feel like there could be some type of then you have the chariot card um. sorry you guys I'm like Pulling more cards and the more cards I'm pulling it's like oh dang everything's like all this that's happening okay I'm gonna pull a couple more cards you guys and then I'll get to the message okay then you have the seven of wands and then you have the four of pentacles so you guys could be go that's okay and then you have the full card at the end of or at the bottom of the deck so overall you guys I feel like there could be a third party situation that is happening um, that someone is going to find out about someone's gonna find some information about some their significant other being a hoe okay maybe they're a hoe maybe you're a hoe i don't know who's the hoe but pinche puta <laughs> sorry you guys had to throw some sarcasm out there um or they're fucking putas right shit but yeah i'm feeling like damn I'm, I'm throwing a little sarcasm you guys because that's how i deal with um when i'm going through shit i laugh at my shit i'm like shit <laughs> and it's not because i'm trying to hurt your feelings you guys i'm just trying to lighten up the energy but dang yeah there could be a breakup that's happening and someone got caught up and it's like Yes, they're sad that they got caught up, but it's like they care, but they don't care. It's like they ran off with somebody. Someone that, ooh, could be a really, like, whoever this person cheated on you with, I feel like could have been close. You could have trusted them. So maybe that's why it hurts a lot. I mean, it hurts regardless you know because you didn't think that they would do this to you i feel like you were really attached to this person okay you i feel like i feel like this part like this person like i feel like maybe you could have been addicted to them a little bit because um the ca I feel like this person could have been like a soulmate. Okay, could have been a type of soulmate. Could so we have different soulmates, right? We have twin flames. We have our soulmates. We have our karmic relationships. You know, just throwing up fucking gang signs at you and shit. <laughs> but um, anyways, yeah, this person it was an intense connection. Um, and as well, I feel like with the intense connection, it could like the sex could have been really good. I don't know why I'm getting that, but it 
it's just like when you guys were together it's like you guys were one like you guys connected but I feel like this person um, is kind of like sidetracked okay they're not really thinking with their heart they're I feel like they feel lost why do they feel lost I don't know if this person has a lot of issues maybe a lot of um, a lot of stuff I feel like maybe they bottle it up and they don't really say anything about what's going on with them okay um, so when a person doesn't process stuff they try to distract their mind and just keep doing weird ass stuff right I'm feeling like this person could have got super distant like always maybe may, always being preoccupied being occupied um, and I feel like this person, I feel like there's definitely a big distance between you guys. And I feel like, yeah, you're really hurt. I feel like you could be like having, I feel like you could be having like a spiritual awakening for some reason. Or some of you guys can be spiritual and it's like your gut was telling you something. Or I'm just feeling like you guys are going to step into being in, in enlightenment, okay? Um, you could be talking to God, being like, hey, like, why did this happen to me? Like, things happen so that better things can happen is what I could say. I feel like when you have situations, tower moments, right? Things that shift our world, that make our world feel upside down. Like, yes, it hurts. But then when you get up, when you get knocked down, the only way to go is to go up right so I feel like this is gonna be something that's really good for you because you know this person like sometimes love isn't the only reason why we should be with them you know like yes we can love people we're gonna have emotions for people but at the end of the day you have to look at that person and see if that what is that person bringing to the table are they adding or are they taking from you and is this person giving as much as you are giving to them? Because it, a relationship cannot be one-sided or else it's not going to work. It's not going to be a relationship. And I feel like this was very maybe one-sided. Okay, Maybe they did give in the beginning, but I feel like they were a little selfish to say the least, right? This person was like very selfish and had very ho tendencies. Maybe they're like, they think a lot with like, even women don't have a head down there, but we could fit a fucking head in there. <laughs> Why did I say that? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sometimes we're thinking with our spiritual head down there. <laughs> Um, you know, just some people are just get carried away by sexual passion, you know, impulsive is what I'm seeing. And I feel like, yeah, they dragged you along. I feel like there was a lot of emotion on your end, but for them, it was a lot of passion. Okay. Um, it's always sad when something like that happens, right? And, you know, just know that, yes, right now, it's a good time to just be by yourself and, you know, just be a little selfish with who you are, okay? Take a little moment for yourself, okay? And just let things play out and heal. This is a cut that has been happened, that happened, right? cut in your heart but like all cuts they heal right you end up healing you just got to give it a little bit of time all right it all depends it's crazy because my um, deck just fell and I'm just pulling the cards but so this is the hanged man you need to look at things from a different perspective okay you need to realize like Oh snap, I just put it together, I'm going to take this card, but it's the three of wands, okay? You're going to get to a point where you need to realize you're a fucking badass bitch. 
the, the, the bitch. Sorry. Okay. And for someone that's not going to value you, there's other people that will. Okay. Even though, I mean, yeah, connections take a second to happen. But the universe will put that together for you. You just have to focus on healing, okay? Yeah, this other woman, I don't know who they cheated on with, but it's like, you're the better woman, okay? You're the better person. All they can offer is just, is like, temporary fun, because they're going to get tired of them too. Because it's not a genuine relationship. Okay? So don't be sad, just um, get up, dust yourself off and continue walking forward and everything's gonna be okay, all right? The universe, God, the creator of the universe, whatever you believe in, you know, everything will plan out. Everything will happen the way it needs to happen. You just have to heal, do your part and good things will come anyways i love you guys and i send you a big uh big big hug smack on the ass because <laughs> i'm an ass person <laughs> when you're sexually harassing your viewers kidding you guys i just don't take me too serious all right you guys <laughs> anyways i love you guys have a great weekend and keep your energy high all right all right i love you guys bye